You're not interested in gates being left open. He's a mate of yours. It's the Norman Baron sticking together. Keep the honest Saxon off our land at all costs. He's not a Norman, he's a Raymond. <laughs> Who have you cast yourself as, Martin? Hereward the Wake. <laughs> all right, put it another way. It's the Green Welly check cap. Get out of my county, I'm breathing in it, Brigade. The Normans didn't wear check caps and green wellies. <laughs> I have modernised my argument, Anne. I'm talking about now. Take the Zulu Wars. Were they about footpaths? <laughs> yes, in a way, yes. Do you mean that every time a Howard and Hilda of the day went out for a little stroll, 5,000 Zulus jumped out from behind a hedge and attacked them with their assegais? I mean they're about protecting the British way of life, which includes the right to walk public footpaths without being shot at by Hooray Henrys or savaged by giant dogs. Called Blossom. <laughs> If my appendix suddenly bursts, Anne, and you have to run through those woods to the hospital with me slung over your shoulder and you meet that dog, <laughs> I don't think you'll be laughing at its name then. You had your appendix out four years ago. <laughs> now, please, Martin, don't make an issue of this. There are plenty of other footpaths. No, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. I've got my teeth into this one. I'm not letting go. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to plan my next step in this war of attrition. I wish I could go and live in a hotel for a month. Can I come? Don't you start. <laughs> Sweet sherry, Martin. No, thank you. A lemon curd tartlet. <laughs> no, thank you. Look, all I said was... Is it really worth it? I heard all too well what you said, Howard. I am still reeling from the shock. Well, it's not even that nice a footpath. Hilda, if it were a footpath through a sewage farm, I would fight for your right to walk it. But we don't want to walk it anymore. You do. We don't. You do. <laughs> don't you see there's an important issue at stake here? Yes, I do. Self-preservation. Empty threats with a gun and a dog. You ran away from him. I did not. I walked. Then how did you keep getting in front of us? <laughs> Stride patterns. You ran. You did. Look, it's different this time. I've got a map. And the map clearly shows that there is a footpath there, don't you see? We're armed with right and reason. But what if he won't listen and sets the dog on us? Or shoots us? All right, all right, all right. Say so he does both. Say so he sets the dog on us and shoots us. He wouldn't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> but we might be badly injured. So? Well, it hurts. <laughs> and what's more, I will not have my Hilda running the gauntlet in those woods again. Then you come. No, Martin, I won't let him. You're a bigger man than us, Martin. You're made of sterner stuff. Well, yes, that's probably true, but all the same. <laughs> I'll get it. I'm going to tell you something I've never told you before, Howard. Oh? It's to do with the respect and affection I have for you. Oh. You're in my will. <laughs> oh, Martin. But I don't want you to think in any way that I'm using that as a lever over this footpath business. Oh, thanks, Hilda. I'm glad I caught you. Anne said you'd be here. I don't repeat anything that's been said in this room to Paul. I'm sorry to say he's in the enemy camp. Well, it's funny you should say that, because I've just come from the enemy camp, as a matter of fact. I had a word with my mate. He said you can use the footpath whenever you like. Oh, it is a public footpath, you know. As he knew that. He just didn't want hordes of people walking over his land, so he bluffed, that's all. Well, why did he change his mind? What could you have thought of that I couldn't? Oh, nothing, probably. But Paul's got so much charm. <laughs> well, thank you, Hilda, but charm had nothing to do with it. I simply told the enemy what sort of man he was up against. <laughs> I told him about you, Martin. Well, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I said you were a British bulldog. Did you? Yes. I said if you believed you had right on your side, you'd just go on and on <laughs> and on with the fight until you'd won. I am like that. I know. And that's what you told him? Yes. You? Yes. 
Someone, I said, who is totally unlike anybody else you'd ever meet for the rest of your life. <laughs> yes. You are indescribable, Martin. <laughs> yes, I suppose I am. <laughs> Hilda, I think I will have that lemon curd tartlet now, please. <laughs> It's interesting, isn't it? I regain a footpath, and because B now exists, you can get from A to C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they must have had the same feeling when they completed the Canadian Pacific Railway, I suppose. Do you think it's going to be a good year for dahlias? <laughs> it doesn't seem to matter what the weather is. Howard's pom-poms are always winners. <laughs> you see, there must be hundreds of stolen footpaths in England. I wonder whether I would have said about getting them all back. You'd be spreading yourself pretty thin, Martin. One of Martin's problems, Howard. Not enough of him to go round. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Did I show you the map, by the way? <laughs> it's all that area cross-hatched in purple that's been liberated, incidentally. Saxons won, Normans nil, eh, Martin? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> see that fascinating program last night about gorillas oh yes they always look to me as if they're wearing patent leather gloves <laughs> you know that huge male what the one that came out of the bushes and went <laughs> <laughs> he reminded me of Howard <laughs> he didn't say so at the time why does Howard rush out of bushes and go <laughs> at you Hilda <laughs> of course he doesn't well, I hope you don't mean in the hairy sense, Hilda. <laughs> I don't regard myself as an excessively hairy person. No. All I mean is the combination of strength and gentleness. Oh. <laughs> I say. Of course, gorillas have footpaths, you know. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Do they have little signposts, too? <laughs> they really do, Hilda. I suppose if you took the right of way from a gorilla... You get the same reaction as you got from me. Good Lord. What? The close is on this map, and there's a footpath, and it goes right through your back garden. <laughs> rubbish. Well, see for yourself. There. Oh. Right through. I wonder how long that's been there. <laughs> what do you all take me for? Martin, it's on the map. All right, all right. Applause, applause for a very good bit of acting all round. Surprise, horror, it's all there. All right, then. Well, let's see how you do. <laughs> <laughs> good grief, it's a footpath through my garden. That's what he said. It's right through my back garden. It's right through Brooksmead. Just a minute. Did you put this on here? Oh, yes, I've got a midget cartographer in my inside pocket. <laughs> well, of course I'd. I only had the map for two minutes. Good grief! Well, don't get into a state. There's nothing to worry about. Don't get into a state, he says. Well, could you explain why there's nothing to worry about? Because I'm slightly interested myself. Well, it's obvious. How long have you lived here? Fourteen years. Have you ever seen hordes of people tramping through your back garden? Oh, I see. It's defunct. Nothing to worry about. Of course not. Well done, Paul, for getting things in proportion. <laughs> Just as we were about to get footpathitis again. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, it is there. The footpath is marked. It is there. But nobody knows it's there, Martin. I do. <laughs> well, Martin, you're not welling up to another crusade, are you? Look at it this way. I have put my life at risk to defend the right of people like Harden Hilda to use a public footpath. <laughs> now I find a public footpath in my own garden. Can I therefore deny Harden Hilda the use of that? We don't want to walk through your back garden, Martin. 300 yards and you're out on the high street. I'm not talking about you personally. I'm talking about all the Howard and Hilders of this world, and there are millions of them. Oh, Martin, just forget you ever saw the map. <laughs> That's impossible. You can't forget you ever saw the map. I could. You can't. You can't. It's like me saying, don't think of an elephant. What do you immediately think of, Howard? An elephant. And? Well, all right, an elephant. Tilda? A unicycle. You see? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I suppose it was you saying, don't think of an elephant, really. Uh, 
Well, uh, let's forget about elephants for the moment. Now, just be rational. By all means. Rational is my language. I speak rational. <laughs> well, good. Then you'll appreciate this. Now, there's the letter of the law and the spirit of the law. Now, the letter of the law says that may be a public footpath. But surely the spirit of the law says it's no longer in use because it goes through somebody's back garden. Now, who in their right mind would follow the letter of the law? Exactly. Well said, Paul. Well yes. I would. <laughs>